With an ever-increasing global demand for information and data storage, data centers today consume 200 terawatt hours worldwide. The associated energy costs are in excess of $15 billion. One way to reduce energy consumption within data centers is through the use of CFD, or computational fluid dynamics. With tools like CF Design, BIM or CAD models can be leveraged, brought into the analysis tool, and simulated to understand any areas of decreased performance and to implement ECMs or energy conservation measures. Here we see a small server room or data center within Revit brought now into CF Design and we can see within CF Design both temperatures on the actual racks themselves and airflow vectors showing direction and magnitude of the airflow coming out of the server racks. We see on the ends of the aisles, particularly in the middle here, that there's a strong recirculation region and due to that we see hot spots within the rack. So one quick way to mitigate this is to add floor tiles or perforated tiles on the ends of the aisles to create an air curtain or air barrier. We've now added the floor tiles. Let's pull this back into CF Design for further analysis. And now we can compare the performance of the two designs side by side within CF Design. On the left, we have the baseline without the air curtain. Again, this is for new construction. And on the right, we have the addition of the air curtain so we can see the recirculation effects are mitigated or reduced. And in addition, if we spin this around and look at temperature distributions on the racks, their temperature, maximum temperatures have been reduced as well. Here we've used virtual thermocouples to study the hot aisle temperature. So essentially a thermocouple has been placed in the hot aisle and then we extract the comparison data between the two designs. CF Design can also be used for data center retrofits. In older data centers, frequently we don't have the, the standard, you know, what's now standard hot aisle, cold aisle layout, so we may have racks that are staggered or offset from each other, so there are gaps between racks where air can recirculate and lead to uh, thermal runaway within the racks. The installation of blanking panels and baffle curtains can alleviate these effects. In addition, we can look at subfloor pressure distributions as shown here. So where do we have higher pressures forcing the air up through the tiles? Where do we have lower pressures uh, creating uh, almost like a suction zone or, or leading to decreased performance? And then the ultimate analysis to, uh, to investigate here is a transient failure scenario where we actually shut down one or more of the crack units and track the performance of the room over time. These analyses are commonly requested by owners now as they attempt to reduce redundancy, save more energy, and fully understand failure scenarios. Here is a final example. We see above floor thermal imaging and the isovectors. The isovectors show the airflow, so we can find areas again where the air recirculates or stagnates, and the thermal camera gives us an infrared picture or snapshot of the thermal performance of the data center.